Hey, what's up street gods? They're from the Eric from Street Photography Blog. So I wanted to give you a video on just some practical stuff on photography composition and just trying to dissect stuff and for all of us to better essentially understand what makes a great image and how we could apply this to our photography. So first and foremost on the iPad, big proponent, this Procreate app. And I use it all the time to sketch things that I find interesting whenever I find any sort of composition or forms which I find engaging. I generally just sketch it for fun and I think it's most fun when you're sketching things, you're understanding things, and then you share this kind of information, this knowledge with others. So the first thing I want to share is this concept of shooting from a low angle and trying to make your images more dynamic. So first and foremost, this is one of my most famous photos of this man in a silhouette. And you could see here, his face is totally obscured and the reason I was able to get his face to be totally black is I actually used the burn tool in Photoshop to actually burn his face and make it darker. And I shot this with, a, if you're curious about the technical settings, I shot this on a Leica M9. I shot this ISO 2500 on a 21mm Voigtlander lens, which I was playing with. Essentially, I saw this nice, simple white wall in the background. And I just waited for the man to step in front of it. I just crouched on very low and I photographed him. And I honestly, I got a little bit lucky because you could see here, the outline of him, it's quite perfect. And one thing I want you to especially notice is, notice that this space here, it's very small and subtle, yet it makes a big difference. And things that I didn't know when I was shooting it, but I could notice afterwards, is you have all these nice little lines here which further accentuate the the composition so these are pretty nice and obviously what i mentioned before is a strong line that goes throughout the frame here so the nice thing is that it kind of gives you the feeling that this man here is going to be moving more towards this way and it's very dynamic and also small details which i like that i didn't really obviously notice when i was shooting it was all these nice little buildings in the background so if I just created a new layer and just hit this bottom layer of the actual image, you could see abstracted, the composition is very simple. And ideally, if you wanted to make a nice photograph, you know, you're just trying to make a photo where your subject is essentially the outline here. Okay, so going back to the gallery, Another composition, which is very simple and nice, is this photograph that I shot of this man in 20, uh, 2009. Shot this on a Canon 5D 35mm f2 lens. And I just shot this during my lunch break. And I shot this in P mode, center point autofocus. And it's a pretty simple compositional technique that you could obviously utilize in your photography. So the general thing is whenever you see simple leading lines, like, you know, essentially these lines here which are taking you to the center here and you can see these anywhere you can see these in escalators you can see these in alleyways and what you're essentially just trying to do is you're just trying to wait until your subject comes into the center of the frame and also what you want to do is make sure that there's enough room here on the left and the right to create this nice balanced composition and now what i got a little bit lucky with is the second that he stepped here in the center of the frame, not only is his legs split like a V, like a triangle, which makes for a nicer composition, but also if you look on the sides, there's actually a silhouette of him on both the sides, something I totally didn't predict when I was uh, shooting the scene. And also if you further analyze the compositions, you could see all these lines here and that take you all throughout the frame. So it's, it's a very simple symmetrical composition. And it's a photo that you can obviously shoot. And once again, the pro tip is when you're shooting these kind of compositions, try to get the legs to be some sort of epic triangle. Because if you create a nice triangle composition, then it creates more balance in the frame. So once again, this is just like the image abstracted. And these are different versions of the compositions that I've created in the past. And a lot of composition is you don't see it while you're shooting it, but you notice it afterwards. So I think that a lot of composition is studying what makes a photo after the fact, but also obviously when you're shooting, you try to make the best photo possible. So this is one of my most famous images. 
It's a walking lady with umbrella and shot this maybe 2009 Canon 5D 1600 ISO center point autofocus P program mode 35 millimeters and this is what there's an example of what they call the fishing technique so the basic concept is you wait for somebody you find a nice background so like here you had all these nice leading lines here and this is what I first noticed when I was shooting the scene and then essentially what you're just trying to do is you're waiting until somebody walks into about somewhere here in the frame and then the composition will give you the sensation that this person's in motion and I essentially got lucky in the sense that I was waiting and I held the camera up and the second the woman noticed me she actually covered her face with the umbrella here and I actually think that because she covered her face it actually makes the image much more elegant and I was also lucky that she was wearing all white and also her legs are once again in the V if you want your compositions to be better once again just try to get your legs in a V and also this is my early days of photography where you can see there's a very heavy vignette around the edges of the frame and I mean, nowadays I think vignettes are a little bit cheesy, but ultimately if you like the effect, it's then just shoot it for yourself. And once again, you can see all these nice leading lines here, which add some sort of nice movement and repetition in the frame. And I think ultimately it makes it for a nicer picture. And so if you just hide the bottom layer, you can see this is just the sample composition. Moving on, this is another composition that I shot in Hanoi. And the reason I really like this photo is that you see this man here with these beautiful flowers in the foreground. And if you look at the outline of his face, you can see that he really looks like he's in deep contemplation. And he's just some sort of, it's kind of like this beautiful yet melancholy image. You can see this outline of his nose, his lips here. I quite like that. Now, obviously, you could see the small details of uh, the flowers here. You can see that there's pretty even spacing of the flowers throughout the frame. And that's the secret too, is that if you're trying to create a nice composition, make sure that all these different visual elements are equally scattered throughout the frame. And this is something that you could think about when you're actually shooting. And also small details, which I try to do when I was shooting this composition. Notice on top of the frame, I actually tried to create some sort of little space above him. And this is actually something that's very, very important. It's a li little bit difficult for me to explain, but now I have the technology I can explain it. Notice this space in between his head and the top of the frame is, is essentially what makes this photograph good. Because if he was somehow overlapped with the background on top of him, the photograph wouldn't be nearly as interesting. So once again, we zoom in here. If, if your subject is all mostly a black figure and there's a black figure here you essentially need some white space in between in order for the composition to be good and in terms of the technical settings the way I was able to shoot this photograph is I used a flash during the middle of the day and that's why the flowers are so well lit up here and this is once again when you're shooting on the streets try to get nice silhouettes of people you could even experiment doing minus minus one or minus two exposure compensation to make for nicer photos. And uh, I think the last photo I'm gonna share with you guys for now is this one, another mysterious photo. A lot of people think this is Cindy, it's actually not Cindy, it's just a random woman. So I'm just chilling at a coffee shop in Hanoi. And if you guys are know already, I'm addicted to coffee. And sometimes you should let the photos come to you. And what that means is I was just sitting on the, the chair with my laptop, my camera, and Rico GR2 in my hand. And I saw this, so this essentially is a door and people are kind of coming in and out of it, right? And what I actually noticed was as some people were coming in and out, I actually saw the silhouette of people in the door. And I'm like, okay, that might be interesting. So I essentially just waited until the lady came back and 
I took about maybe two or three photos and then once again that second I could get that silhouette and the small detail like afterwards is her hand here. It makes for a very simple and elegant composition. And things I even noticed after that I shot the photo after the fact which I quite like is this little star pattern here. And once again it's a very simple composition. The background is the background here is all black. Whereas the things in the foreground like this door here is quite bright. So you can see that um, the way I post process, I shot this on RAW on the Ricoh GR2, and I process this using the Eric K Monochrome 1600 preset to give it that super punchy look. And you can download those for free, just Google them. And yeah, so once again, to kind of um, sum up, make sure when you're shooting street photography, you could do the fishing technique for finding the interesting background, waiting for your subjects to enter the frame. You could crouch down low, integrate a lower perspective to make a better composition. You could also, once again here, look for the leading lines and also wait for your subjects to enter the scene. And also remember, try whenever possible to get people's legs in a V shape because it makes for a nice triangle composition. And remember when you're shooting your, you're photographing your subjects, try to put some sort of nice space in between your subject and the top of the frame because the more you could just have a little bit of this little negative space on top of the frame then this is going to be able to help you have more clear separation between the subject and what's going on in the background and the last one is yeah sometimes just be patient let the photos come to you don't always force the fact that you must always make a good photo all the time right so if you want more information and to learn more about the street photographies open up safari do this Google Eric Kim Eric Kim blog cool and yeah just uh, click on click on the blog and use this at the use this as an opportunity to learn more about photography street photography and life and hopefully you can incorporate these compositional techniques into your own photography and also another tip is whenever you're watching great cinema on your laptop, just take screenshots and uh, deconstruct and figure out the compositions afterwards. Thanks a lot for watching guys, peace out.